Raffles and Michelangelo's rivalry unfolded like a gripping TV drama. What happens when these two titans clash? Ciao, I'm Cecilia Martini, a native Roman, art historian and context expert. Let me open your mind about the rivalry and the secrets hidden in the rooms of Raphael. What was the main difference between these two great artists? First of all, the age. Raphael is eight years younger than Michelangelo. And the other main difference is in the mood, in the character. Raphael is a very welcoming, charming person and Michelangelo is a very difficult guy. When they met at the court of the Pope Julius II, immediately they didn't like each other. Their characters were too different. We know that Michelangelo never went to see Raphael's rooms because he thought that he was just a young presumptuous boy. And instead, Raphael would have liked to see Michelangelo's ceiling, but Michelangelo, when he realized that somebody was trying to get inside the Sistine Chapel, started to lock it in front of everyone. Raphael has just finished the first room, which is his absolute masterpiece, the School of Athens. In the same day, the ceiling of Michelangelo is unveiled by the will of the Pope. So Raphael, like anybody else, can get there and see what his adversary had done. And he was so amazed. He was so impressed by the work of Michelangelo that he decided to come back and add in his absolute masterpiece an evident homage to him, which is still secret to most people of the time because they don't have the eyes and the knowledge to recognize it. The Vatican hides and unfolds uh, many other layers uh, behind the stories that you see painted on the walls. Experience the Vatican with Context Vatican Audio Guide and get more insider stories from local experts like me.